Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back again with another new indie game and this one is got me excited. Oh my goodness, I'm dancing in my chair a little bit. Are you guys dancing? I hope you're all dancing in your chairs as I do this intro. This is Super Dodgeball Beats and this is another blind first look, but I'm really excited about this one because it combines one of my favorite things, uh, which is rhythm games, with, with uh, one of my least favorite things, which is dodgeball. Now, I have discovered in my travels across the world that not everybody knows about dodgeball. Dodgeball seems to be mostly an American thing. Uh, so if you are uninitiated and you're a little bit confused about what dodgeball is, basically when you have PE class in like middle school and the PE teacher comes in and has a hangover and doesn't want to do anything complicated, they just divide the class in half and stick each, uh, each half of the class on one half of the gymnasium and they give you some balls and you throw them at each other. And it's basically uh, a field day for bullies to throw balls at skinny, nerdy weaklings like myself and uh, it hurts, <laughs> and um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the most important things about the game. Uh, but this is a dodgeball rhythm game, which is awesome, and I'm just gonna tell you, as I hit the button to open the menu here, I got some controller feedback. I am playing on my Xbox 360 gamepad, and um, it, it definitely has the rumble in there, so yeah, this is, this is totally blind. I don't, I don't know what this is gonna be like, but I am excited. First thing we always do, my friends, is we just take a peek at the options. We got vibration on, we got music and effects separate, we got full screen on, resolution, quality, definitely quality fantastic, and that seems to be it. So we don't have any uh, rebindable controls or anything like that. Uh, whoop, no, no, keep that on. Uh, we don't have any other accessi accessibility options that I can see. There's no colorblind mode or anything, but I don't know if colorblind mode will be necessary. This game might not require that. So anyway, there's your options. We've got that there. Uh, I do feel like it's possible we might have some flashing and flickering. So if you're super sensitive, um, be aware of that. But that's just me guessing because I have not I have not done it before. I don't know if we should do championship or training in order to learn how to play the game. Is this the tutorial? Let's try the training. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna stop dancing as long as I play in this game. So everything's locked. Uh, I'm just gonna hit A to, to agree to all of this stuff, rookie. Yep. Dodgeball? Dodgeball! Let's dodgeball! <laughs> now the nerds turn to, uh, to win at dodgeball. Power up, mega head. Use this power up to block your opponent's view of the field. Now, my friends, this is a rhythm game, so I don't know how much talking I'm gonna be able to do while I'm playing, but it seems like the music is pretty fun, so if I have to be quiet for a while, just enjoy. Sigma Nerds Club versus Pro Boombox. I want subtitles. We don't have subtitles. Oh. Dodgeball. Okay, what do I do? I have no instructions! Okay. I'm a little bit... I am using the... Letter... Uh, the letter keys on the gamepad. to uh, hit the beats in time with these circles as they hit my people. So up is Y. Uh, the different players are assigned to different buttons on the gamepad. I don't know, maybe I should do the championship. Maybe there's a tutorial in there. Or maybe there's no tutorial. I'm still figuring out what I'm doing here. I'm just watching the circles around the players. I think... As with most rhythm games, I'm guessing that's what you have to focus on. Hitting in time. I don't know what that floating head is all about. It's getting in the way. I guess that's probably what it's all about. I like the music, because it's fun. It's simple, but it's fun. So yeah, the, the circles do hit the players in time with the music. Hmm. Oh, I missed one. Oh, missed that one. This is trickier than I expected, but I like it. It's a different type of rhythm game. Most of the rhythm games I play have sort of DDR controls. 
This is this is something very different. Okay, I guess that's the end. All right, so I'm getting the hang of it. I would prefer an actual tutorial. And there's definitely not one of those here. I got I got a B rank. Well, it was my very first song, and I was learning the mechanics. Let's try uh, jumping out of this mode and jumping into the championship mode. So maybe this is where the tutorial is hiding. So we got Rookie Lee, because I've just started. Okay, we've got some story. We've got a manga style, right to left. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> dodgeball? <laughs> Nobody's excited about dodgeball, come on. This is all completely absurd. <laughs> See, they're not excited about dodgeball. They're like, not dodgeball, anything but dodgeball. That's correct. That is the correct, uh, such, the correct reaction to somebody saying dodgeball. Ugh. I'm not following this very well, but I also can't read most of the text, because I'm not sure what language it's in. I'm getting the picture. We're gonna dodgeball. Got it. <laughs> this is fun. Power up Mega Head. Use this power up to block your opponent's view of the field. Yeah, I saw that before. So is there a tutorial? Rookies! Ah, oh, there is! You may be a disgrace to dodgeball, but today I, today I turn you into living legends. This is a dodgeball court, a place where teams fight for honor and glory. See that bar above you? I do! You got three arrows pointing to it, so yeah, I got it. The ball inside the bar is when your side of the... If the ball inside the bar is in your side of the field, when the song stops playing, you will have won the game. Okay. I wasn't even looking at that bar, I didn't even know what that was. If it is on the opposite side, it means you lost. If it ends in the central zone, it's a tie. Okay. To make the ball advance to your side, you will have to hit the incoming beats with correct timing. Sir, yes sir. Note, notice that you are positioned in the same formation as the four buttons on your controller. See, I did figure it out. <laughs> the ball is under your character's feet, that means the player is the one whose note is coming up next. Your job is to hit the corresponding button when it's that player's turn. Got it. Character won't move, but notice the white ring that closes in towards the base. All this stuff that I figured out, it is explained. I'm a fool. I went for training first. Although, I think it's it's understandable that I would have made that mistake. When the lines of both rings overlap, that is the moment to press the respective button. Pressing the button too soon or too late may cause you to fail the beat. You're up, rookies. Try hitting some beats correctly. I got this. I got it. I got it. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing it. Yeah, okay, there we go. I actually have to hit a little bit early. Now there's one thing that I could really use, which is a way to configure the controller, because sometimes there's a little bit of latency. I do have to hit the button slightly earlier than what it shows on the screen and what it uh, feels in the music. So the directional beat, you gotta use your left stick in the correct direction with correct timing. You must release the stick when the moving circle reaches the other end to correctly complete. Okay, this is a little confusing. Let's give it a try. How do I see an indicator for this? Ah, uh, okay. It is saying late each time. I am doing it in time with the music, but uh, I think there's a little bit of latency. So that is an issue. Any rhythm game needs to have a way to configure the latency. That's always really, really critical for a rhythm game. This is the last type of beat you need to know about, the fearsome long beat. This one you have to keep the button pressed for as long as the outer circle is filling up. When it's completely full, reach the button with the correct timing to complete the long beat, your turn. Got it. I got it, I got it! Bring it on. Yeah, I have to press and release the button slightly before the beat. Oh, that's gonna be really tough, my friends. I do, uh, when I play other rhythm games, like Metronomicon, my favorite rhythm game, uh, I do have to configure the system for a little bit of latency. So this is gonna be tough. Hitting beats also fills up so your power-up power, power up bar. That one I'm pointing at right now, yes, I see. When the bar is full, a power-up will appear in that part of the screen. When you have a loaded power-up, you are free to use it whenever you want by pressing any of the sh shoulder buttons. Okay, four options for shoulder buttons. But it's not full right now. I can't do it. 
Okay. Boom. Ah, there's the big head. Now, presumably, the computer will make mistakes on purpose, since it's not actually obscuring anything for the computer. For now, you you have learned all you need to know to tackle the competition in Super Dodgeball Beats. For Dodgeball! For Dodgeball! We're going to have a little test game now. Yeah! Oh, I'm a little scared. Oh. Silence. Now, the big important question is... Can I use the uh, arrow keys? Let's try it. No, I can't. Oh. Nope. Mm. <laughs> okay. I got an F. Well, of course I did. Uh, controller is not configured to work. I'm gonna go back. So we can go back to the menu. Multiplayer training options. Um, that is all of the options. There is... We have... Uh, start to assign controllers. Well. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna try one more song, but I do want to point out that is a very, very serious problem. Um, if the developers of this game are watching, and I will also leave a Steam review with this comment, and I hope that they will take it to heart, you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, for a rhythm game, absolutely must uh, set, uh, create, a, create a way to uh, configure the controller and set for latency. Also, for a rhythm game, it, it is traditional to not only use the A, B, X, Y buttons on my Xbox 360 controller, or the, the four buttons on any gamepad that you're using, but also to be able to use the, uh, the D-pad so that you can flip back and forth. Uh, between notes so that you can go fast and you can't go fast if you can only use the letter buttons. So Let's give it a try I'm Just looking around to see if there's any uh, Any other options that are missing, but there does not seem to be So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna try the Sigma Nerds Club <laughs> Sigma Nerds Club. Okay, the next match Only got one mascot And um, we'll see if I can do it. I'm gonna give it a try. I will do my best, uh, but yeah, it's it's a shame for such a cool, and this is a very cool concept, I love the concept, but if you can't get the game working correctly on every system, then uh, people aren't going to be able to play it. Sigma Not every system Girl's has perfect uh, zero latency box. between the gamepad and the uh, computer, or between the game and the speakers and the uh, monitor. Alright, I'm going to stop talking and see if I can do this. Let's do it. Same song every time. <laughs> Doing better. Might as well just use it right away, right? Oops. Stop talking, Ira.
Those floating heads really are a pain. <laughs> it really does make it hard to see. Okay, uh, I think I won. I think I did just fine. I have no idea what's going on on most of the screen, by the way, my friends. I'm just looking at those circles, like in any rhythm game. There we go, I got an A. New power up! Throw a donut to your rival. The Sugar Rush won't let them see the coming beads. That looks like fun. Uh, this game does have multiplayer, by the way. I don't have anyone to test the multiplayer with. But if you're wondering, you, you apparently you can play this. I think you can play couch co-op. Let's take a look at the multiplayer. Let's take a look at the multiplayer and just see what it looks like. Uh, is it online or is it local? Yeah, it looks like it's local co-op only as far as I can tell here. So if you have some friends to play dodgeball beats with, um, you can do that. Um, I think I am going to stop there. So I think I've shown what the game has to offer. And um, so yeah, final, final opinion. Very cool concept. Like it very much. However, absolutely, absolutely critical to the developer. Please, 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 please. You've got to add a way to configure the latency and the controller in the system. Um, absolutely critical. People cannot be good at a game like this without that option. Every system is different. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. I will definitely be playing some more of it, and I'll probably see if I can beat the game and, and see how I do. Uh, but that is all for this one. Um, but I know some of you out there going, you know, Ira, I don't care about rhythm games. I don't care about rhythm games. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to play dodgeball on my computer. My friends, don't worry. If this game is just not your cup of tea, I will be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello, insert your name here. Is your name on this list? If so, congratulations! It looks great on there! If not, consider signing up at patreon.com slash itsmeiralee and getting your name on this fabulous list. I mean, just think how nice it would look on there. And anyway, I could use some more help affording a better webcam, because let's face it, this one is just awful.